how crazy this game feels. This is the third time that these teams will have played this season. Mustangs won the first two. Both games were very hard fought. Munising ended up victorious in each. However, it was um, there were times when Superior Central dominated the game. Right. Similar to last year when Superior Central actually uh, beat the Mustangs three times. In Munising, the game was very close. Out here, the regular season game was not quite so close. And then the tournament game was uh, really dominated by Superior Central after about the first 10 minutes or so. Um, yeah, they took care of the ball and uh, did what they needed to do. Mustangs will start four seniors and a junior. That will be Webster along with the senior quartet, the Fab Four, Bushy, Richardson, Owis, and Kelto. Superior Central with just one senior, so they look uh, like they will be able to reload their cupboard a lot quicker. It's not that there's not some talent from Munison, but oh, after that's... Webster, he's really the only junior that plays. Well, Mana still gets playing time, too. That's true. It'll be up, it'll be up to them, too. And then, you know, you get some good players on that JV team. Lucas Goth here, uh, the other junior on this team, doesn't play a lot, but he's athletic. Right. He needs uh, some seasoning, needs to understand the game a little more, and uh, Lucas can certainly contribute in his senior year. Superior Central uh, will start their same group from the other night. And uh, two of those kids are sophomores. Nicholas Mackey and Cody Mackey. Trevor Mackey is the junior. Alex Freeberg, the lone senior on the team, uh, he will also start. Verbriggi is a junior. And we talked about keys, guard play for the Mustangs. It's the front line. It's the front line for the Cougars as to how much damage will they do against our undersized front line. You know, you look at Zach Bushy and you, you say he's a forward, but he's really not. No, he's more of a guard, but uh, he does a great job on the boards, knows how to position himself to get rebounds, and, you know, it's, you know, you're actually looking out there, you got four four you got guards, four guards. And, and, a, and a forward. Yeah. You know. And, and with Stasiewicz, you got four guards and, and, a, a, and a center. And a center, but he's a, he's a freshman center. Right, who's come a long way this season. He's improved and improved. You know, he does a great job on the boards. His rebounding has gotten better. He's gotten stronger. You know, his understanding of what, what Waterman wants him to do has gotten a lot better. Your primary subs there are, uh, are both guards in Manisto and Austin Kelto. And we're talking another freshman in Kelto. Well, here we go for Briggy and Richardson. And up and Verbriggi wins the tap to Freeberg. Freeberg to Cody Mackey. Mustangs start out in a man to man, no surprise there. Trevor Mackey guarded by Kelto. Into the uh, perimeter now, they'll kick it back out to Freeberg. Freeberg loses the ball, it's on the ground. Owis has it. Mustangs with numbers, it's a little three on one. Owis stops and will set the offense. It's Bushy to Webster, three ball, corner pocket, long. Rebound Bushy, up the left side, shot, oh, blocked. That'll be a foul. He's blocked, and it's a foul. Uh, two shots coming. Is it Trevor Mackey? We'll see. Four, five. Yep, Trevor Mackey picks up his first here early on. Great hustle by Bushy to get to that long rebound to carry him off on the three. No good, free throw number one. How about uh, Ois's decision not to push on a like a three on two situation. I, I thought he would have taken the young uh, sophomore to the hoop. And... Bushy misses then makes. Trevor Mackey will uh, enter the ball against the Mustang full court press. Freeberg uh, guarded by Richardson. Richardson's the slowest of the starters and Freeberg oh, takes advantage he... of that. Boy, I thought he almost carried it right there. Nick Mackey to Cody Mackey, uh, down low to Trevor Mackey. Oh, good Kelto hands steps Kelto. in and knocks it away. Always with the rebound. Up to Andrew Kelto, numbers again. Kelto will give it to Richardson. Richardson stops, and he's hit and loses the ball. 
Joe has to play stronger than that. Right. He's got to, you know, he, he's got to be a little quicker with his feet. He's got to play strong underneath. 7.08 to go, 1-0. Owis on Nicholas Mackey. Nicholas will dribble through the half-court trap and uh, gets it to Freeberg in the corner, guarded by Richardson. Freeberg's gobs faster than, than uh, Joe. And foul on Bushy. Bushy in the help out situation draws the foul. Bushy's a great defender, but we have to avoid foul issues across the board. Freeberg at the line, the senior makes his first free throw. A little bit of nerves, perhaps, for both teams. Oh, yeah, teams both here. teams are going to be nervous. They're going to be uh, tight. It's championship game here in the district. Second free throw is no good. Webster uh, with the rebound. Gets the ball to Owis. Owis back to Andrew Kelto. Kelto doesn't ever look rattled. He looks just about the same regardless of the score. So does Owis. Owis has the ball now. Gives it to Richardson. Richardson loses the ball, but Kelto's there to give it to him. This is Owis. Owis dribbling down, stops, pops. No good. Rebound to Verbrigge. That was kind of a fourth shot by Owis. Yep. But uh, it was a good take. He's got to try to get himself on track right away. They're going to post up Trevor Mackey and Andrew Kelto. Mackey up, no good. Richardson skies for the rebound. Joey will uh, dribble up and get it to a guard, Andrew Kelto. Tied at one. We've played two minutes. And Owis is being guarded uh, by Mackey. Richardson in the corner to Kelto. Beautiful oh, pass to Bushy. Assist. Get in there. Oh, oh, and it rattles in and out. And Bushy just picked up another foul. Oh, how did that ball rattle in and out of there? What a pass by Andrew. An awesome pass by Kelto. That's two on Bush, and he's guarding the big fella for Briggy. We're going to have to get a sub in for him, I think. Five. Oh, five-second call. Munising's ball. Great defense to turn that over. No sub that's yet for Bushy with his two personals. I think he's going to leave him in there, but that's questionable right now. You got. Oh. Always throws the ball away. Stolen by Cody Mackey to Trevor Mackey. He had, he had Webster all alone in the opposite corner and didn't get it over there. Freeberg thinks about three, throws it away. Freeberg went up for the ball and just lost it over his head. Here, here comes the freshman, Austin Kelto, in for Bushy. And uh, Coach. Coach Waterman is uh, letting Not Bushy happy. know he's got to play smarter than that. 5.45. Webster to Kelto. Kelto dribbling to Richardson. Richardson to Owis. Owis for That's three. That's good. Oh, I thought it was good. No oh. good. Rebound to Nicholas Mackey. That ball landed up there three different times and wouldn't fall. That's two. Is it going to be one of those kind of nights? Gosh, I hope not. I hope it isn't. You know, we had that night in Ishpeming. Can't afford to see one tonight like that. They're oh, he pushed up. Cody Mackey. Shots yep. up and good. Andrew Kelt is a great defender, but uh, is subject to be... Uh, there was no weak side help there. Yeah, he, he can't stop Trevor down low. So if it comes down to that, Spear Central is going to win that matchup most of the time. Kelto's pass stolen by Verbrigge. Superior Central defense has been really good here in the first uh, four minutes. Trevor Mackey down the lane. Blows right through Kelto. Yes. yes. Oh, Kenya. that's true. Kenya Owens. Kenya was set up perfectly for the help out defense. And Trevor Mackey blew right through him. Good call. That's two on uh, Trevor Mackey. So the two, two of the main players with right. the only two fouls in the game. Yeah. It's uh, Owens from Kelto. Back to Kelto. Kelto in the corner to Webster. Fakes the three. Dribbling to his left. Pass to Owis. Everything's being contested. Owis down the lane. Shots up. Man, that's a foul on Verbrigge. Oh, that should have been on Verbrigge, but he comes away with the rebound off the Owis miss. Freeberg on the other end. Trevor Mackey now. Mustang still playing man-to-man -man defense. Most of the time, Superior Central's been in a zone. Trevor Mackey spinning on oh, Kelto. Traveled. This is uh, Cody Mackey, top of the key, guarded by Webster. Their lob pass into Verbrigge. Shots up. It's good. And he's fouled by Kelto. Well, 
that was uh, that was not uh, a, a good uh, sequence of events. Yep. Verbrigge's going to get it down there. Waterman's letting one of the referees know that there should have been a foul called on the other end on the take by Ois. It was. Verbrigge fouled him. Verbrigge no fouled him. Definitely got away with one, and then Verbrigge gets the call at the other end. But I think he was fouled too, so I think it's a good call. Oh, yeah. He, he was fouled down here. That one was on Kelto in the help out situation. So the Mustangs want to talk about it. Fair Central up 5 1. We knew that it would be hard fought. We knew that it would be uh, a game of, of runs. But uh, you would have expected the Mustangs to score more than one point in the first four minutes. Exactly. You know, we've had some good looks. Bushy had the uh, layup that went in and out on uh, the great pass by Kelto. And then uh, we've had a couple of shots. I thought the three that was taken by Ois was going to be good from uh, the angle I had. And it, Hit the, the rim, rim, back, back of the, the rim, rim front off of the, the rim, rim yeah. and then just wouldn't go down. You know, we got to start uh, penetrating this zone and get uh, Verbiggy in foul trouble or go at Mackey again, get his third. They're leaving him on the floor, and we took Bushy off the floor. OS2 Kelto, 4.09 to go in the first quarter. Superior Central still in that zone. They extended way high. Kelto oh, down he had the lane a chance to, to go to the lane. This is Owis. Owis going to stop, kick it to Austin Kelto. Back to Kenya. Kenya's going to drive in. Viver Briggy. Shots up. Oh, no that's good. another fall. Rebound to Cody Mackey. I mean, that was one there. Looked like he hacked them all the way and nothing called. Right in front of uh, John Verkel, the referee. There goes Kelto uh, with the defense. Trevor Mackey, a little push off. Could have been his third. No call. Oh, Three Cody, for Cody Mackey. Mackey. Eight to one. Eight to one is the score. Superior Central with a seven this point one lead. This 1-3-1 one has given us fits right now. Austin Kelto should step into the block. This is Webster way far away from the basket to Kenya. Kenya's going to cross over and go down the lane. Smoky smooth. There, open nice, there. There's a nice shot over Brady. Eight to three. Bushy still on the floor with those two. Nicholas Mackey won't uh, drive. They're going to get it down to Verbriggy on Austin Kelto. Shots up, no good. Gets his own rebound. Shots up, no good. Re gets his own rebound. Shots up, no good. Rebound. Oh, that's a travel. Yeah. Freeburg. I mean, only one referee was going to call that. The referee closest wasn't going to call it. Bush in for Austin. And... <coughs> Oh, Bushy's got to play smart here in this 250. I still think we got to enter the ball at the free throw line to have somebody go at Trevor Mackey. Webster, dribble out of that. Kelto to Kenya. Kenya saves it, but right to Freeburg. Bad pass by Andrew. Two of those tonight. You don't see that very often. Give that credit to the Superior Central defense. There's a foul on Richardson. Yep, he held him up. That was a good call. Yeah. Eight to three, two twenty-seven to go. <laughs> Mustangs in a five-point hole. It was seven just a moment ago. Superior Central with a chance to add to that uh, five-point lead. Mackey in the corner to Freeberg. Freeberg dribbling, spins on Richardson, shots up, no good. Rebound Kenyolis, and he's followed by Freeberg. That's a situation much like the Bushy foul where he missed a shot that he thought he could make and then he fouled on the offensive rebound. Right, and he put the big spin on. and uh, He's he, a lot quicker than Richardson. Right, he, he's got an opportunity to take him. Joey's going to have to be quick. Owis swings it to Webster. Webster to Andrew. Freeberg's on him. Back to Kenya. Kenya will dribble, cross over, come down the lane, shots up, he's fouled. It's on Mackey. Which one? I think it's on Trevor. If that's Trevor, that'll be his third. Nope. No, 1-5, uh, one it's on. 1-5, one one. Nicholas. Yeah, there was only three Mackeys around the play. Yeah. Yeah, it was really tough for me to predict it was on a Mackey. Ollis uh, at the line, makes his first.
151 to go. Second free throw is also good. Eight to five. Mustangs down three. Nearly a steal by Kelto as Freeberg got it right back to Mackey. And Stacewich will come in on the next dead ball for the Stangs. The freshman gonna see some oh. action here early. That was a hard screen by Mackey on Ois. This is Trevor on top of the key. He's gonna get by Ois. Shots up and no good. Webster. Rebound, Gage Webster to Andrew Kelto. Andrew to push. Up to Zach. Zach to Kenya. Three, corner pocket. No good. Rebound, Richardson. Richardson had for it. it. He should Oh, my. He's knocked off his feet. Joe Richardson working hard. That, that was one where uh, Verbiggy could have had another fall. That was one of those, that's a tough foul to call. Richardson yeah. working very hard, went out of bounds with he the ball. He was sandwiched in between two superior central players. Nicholas Mackey will uh, dribble up with Ois uh, guarding him all the way to the hole. Oh. And he's fouled by Webster. Somebody's got to step in. Everybody let him drive right-handed. He's left-handed. Nobody stepped in to take a charge there. Well, if not take a charge, at least turn him once. Right. You have to stop the ball. So uh, Nicholas Mack, will head to the line. Chance to add to the Spear Central three-point lead. No good, free throw number one. We got uh, Ben Stasiewicz on the floor now for Joey Richardson. Free throw number two is good. And it's nine to five. Ois to Bushy, back to Ois. Kenya dribbling up. 1-9, 109 to go, quarter number one. Kelto to Ois. Ois going to dribble, stops, gets into the lane, shots up. Good, good. and he's fouled. That's on Verbriggy. <coughs> You know, right now, Verbiggy could be sitting at at least three fouls here. He's had the one reach that he got away with and another one. And uh, we finally got an attack to get him at the, get a foul on him. He's got one there now. <clears throat> there comes Manistil for Bushy. Good, this a, good this play. A smart thing smart to do. Smart play by Coach uh, Waterman to get Bushy off the floor. Don't need him to pick up a third here in the first quarter. Under a minute to go, nine to seven. Now nine to eight on the Ellis make. <coughs> Tyler Kennett's in seeing his first action for the Cougars. He's guarded by Manisto. Both coaches going into their bench a little bit. Trevor Mackey's still out there with those two personals. Kennett's oh. traveled. Shots up, good. Might have traveled. That was hard to tell. Made the shot anyway. Tyler just off the bench, not afraid to put it up. Got the kind roll. Webster in the corner. To Manisto. Manisto to Ois. Ois will find Kelto. They want one shot due to the Mustangs. Down. Dribble, uh, dribble. 11, 11, there we go. 11 second mark. Nicholas Mackey trying to stop Ois. Ois is going to be fouled. And we'll head to the line for two. That's two on Nicholas Mackey, two on uh, Trevor Mackey. So if they keep playing at this pace, there's going to be some disqualifications by fouls before this one is over. Yep, we're going to be uh, keeping track of that and watching it closely here. Always at the line, makes his first. Now, if you're the Mustangs, you don't want to make a foul here. No, you don't need nothing foolish. To go. Don't go over anybody's back. Ois makes both. It's a one-point game. Trevor Mackey. Oh, he pushed half up. Half-court shot. Ooh, almost backward. there. He was, he was close to getting that uh, push-off. He likes to push off with that right arm a lot because he yeah. dribbles mostly with his left hand. And I've still been waiting for a referee to call it here. It's been... Uh, our third game with them, and I haven't seen it called yet, but you never know. It's going to happen. We want to uh, welcome those of us listening uh, on 1400 AM, as well as those listening uh, through the Internet. We have uh, listeners, I know, in the Indianapolis area, 
Uh, we have listeners in the Phoenix, Arizona area. We have listeners downstate in Michigan. And uh, if you want to text us and say hi, my uh, phone number is 906 202 0771 if you want to send a text. I'm not sure if I get it here. There's not great reception, but uh, send us a message. Say hi. Let us know that you're out there cheering on these Mustangs from afar. There's a good crew in here cheering them on in person. You know, and quarter number one is not disappointed. No, and we had some shots that went around the rim and didn't go in. Superior Central, same thing. You know, it's, it's going to be a game right now. I think the team that gets on a hot streak could be the team that wins. Munison got some delay situation. I don't know what that means. Late coming out of the huddle. They, they apparently warn you once. Oh, Kelto uh, guarded pass. by Kennets. Kennets. Oh, well, if he's going to call Andrew. that, he's got to call it the other way now. Yeah. That's uh, Kelto's second. Yeah. Now you better call it on uh, Trevor Mackey. If you're calling that on uh, Kelto, it better be called the other way. Yeah. Mackey pushing off Kelto. They're looking for that same call. Yeah, fans were on him. Cody Mackey, Tyler Kennett. Back to Nicholas Mackey. Lob pass inside. Shots up and good for Verbrigge on the lob. 13-10. Mustangs <coughs> uh, need to get focused here again. Always coming over half court. Gets we it to Andrew. We need somebody at the free throw line here. This is Owis. To Andrew. Andrew does a nice job to get the ball back to Kenya. Here comes Owis down the lane. Shots up and good. good. Nice take there. And again, more contact. No yep. whistle. Cody Mackey uh, gets the ball, but Stacewitz will slow him down. 13-12 is your score. Superior Central still at the lead. They've led the entire way with the exception of the Mustangs being ahead 1-0 on the Zach Bushy free throw. Nicholas Mackey for three. That's off. No good. Oh, push off underneath on yeah, three. They got it. Kinnett's, uh gave Andrew Kelto a little forearm shiver. Bushy back in with his two personals. And, uh, Kelto still playing Richardson's with his two back personals. It's going to be a one and one here. Who's shooting? Who shoots him? Webster. Go, oh, I should go shoot him. That a boy, can you? Yep. Get your butt on the line. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to know. I think it was Kelto that got pushed. Oh, I thought it was Webster. Kenny's a pretty good free throw shooter. Tried to sidle up there. Who's going to shoot? Richardson. Okay. Who just came into the ball game? Yeah, it certainly wasn't Richardson. Yeah, this is horse, horse pucky. No good on the free throw. I don't even think he was in the he game. He wasn't. He just came in. Kennett. No. He wasn't in the game. I can barely drink this, Dave. I'm shaking. So I hard. know. This is this is getting wild here. They uh, they blew one there. That, yeah, I mean, they blew just, that big time because Richardson was on the bench when that foul was called. Yeah, yeah they I, missed I, the one and one. I thought Webster was the guy who got the rebound and pushed. I thought it was Kelko. Might have been Manis though. Doesn't matter. Spear Central's ball after the Richardson miss. Kennett's is going to drive. Right over Kelto, shots up no good. Rebound to Owis, and there's a foul on Kinnitz. Oh, and Owis, this time it's Owis. Yep, look at him, look well, at him, Dave. Is that a confident shooter? I'm, go, the first I'm going to the line. You're not going to goof this one up, yeah. he's saying. That That's should two be a on one Kinnitz. and one, two on Kinnitz. we got two on Kinnitz, two on Nicholas Mackey, two on Trevor Mackey, two on Bushy, two on Andrew Kelto. But me, I would be putting somebody at that free throw line, getting them the ball, 
to put pressure on Trevor Mackey to make a, make a decision. Do I, do I gotta play defense? Always oh, makes the first. Here's something else I do if I was the Mustangs. I quit shooting jump shots. The rest of this quarter, with the foul situation, I'd go at the at You the gotta hole. go at the hoop every 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 chance you get here. Free throw number one is good. Free throw number two is good. Mustangs back on top, 14 to 13. They were down as many as seven. Brubriggy to Nicholas Mackey. Cross court pass to Cody Mackey. Cody to Nicholas. Nicholas down low to Trevor. Shots up. It's an archer and oh, it's good. Good shot. Nice High looking shot. shot by Trevor Mackey. Right over Richardson. Yep. Cougars back on top. Another lead change. 6.03 to go. Quarter number two. Oh, it's down the lane. Ball's tapped away by. Oh. We got a kick by. By who? Kick by Owis? Trevor Mackey knocked that away from Kenya, and Dave, that's right. risky because he's risking yep. a reach and foul, but exactly. it was great defense. Great defense, but you know, if the referees call the reach, there's his third. Yeah. Owis has got to keep taking it at him. I don't, well, I don't, I thought it was a held ball situation. I didn't see anybody kick the ball, but they said Owis yeah. kicked it. Yeah, I don't know how he kicked it when it was between his legs. It went, went behind him. It was behind hit, him, yeah. then he pulled it back in on, through his legs. And But uh, right now, Munising's only made three conventional baskets. Everything's been free throws. You know, where Superior Central's only made two free throws, and everything else has been buckets. 15-14, uh, Mustangs have committed um, four team fouls, excuse me, six yeah. team fouls. Right now, the, the lob into the into the post area to the block is killing Munising. We're not uh, defending it very well. Mackie, Trevor looking, uh, gets it to Kinnitz, oh. but it's on the ground, right back to Trevor, ball's on the ground. This is gonna be held again. And that jump ball. Richardson it's, gets down on it, and it's good hustle. central ball. <laughs> Good defense by the Mustangs. Almost came away with that. Now it's Superior Central. It's got to inbound it under our bucket again. Mackey. Enters to Kenneth. Guarded by Webster. And there's a fall oh, on Gage. Oh, fall on Webster. That's his second. That Webster's, should be one and one for Kenneth. Webster's not as quick as, uh, as Kenneth. Gage... Um, very deliberate game, but man, he is deadly. If you give him a sniff, but the problem is these Cougars we know have, him pretty well. They've, they've extend, extended the zone, but we got to start uh, penetrating and, and attacking that zone and dishing off. Kenneth adds to the Cougar lead. It's now 14 to 16. Free throw number one is good. We need to get Richardson in the short corner once here. And, or, or, or Bushy, actually, is the Kenneth's guy we makes, need in the short corner. Kenneth makes both of his free throws. And it's a three-point Superior Central lead. Owis guarded by Cody Mackey. Dribbling around and finds Webster. Three on the way. Got Good. it. There's Webster. Up. Look out now. Here comes Cody Mackey. Nobody there. Cody is going to throw it away. No, Verbriggy steals it. and Bushy Ooh. takes it away from, from behind. Yep. Good play by Bushy. I was hoping he would have been able to knock it off Superior Central, but good hustle. Oh. Timeout, Spear Central. Uh, we're coming in with uh, yeah. Austin Kelto for more quickness here, and uh, they're, they're gonna bringing in with, with they're going to counter guy. with quickest their quickest guy in Skyler Lloyd. So it's going to be some fast-paced basketball out there right now. I think hard to imagine it going any faster than it's been going. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot of points being put up on the boards, but uh, everybody's working out there. So it's going to be. Uh, a good finish here to this half, 5.24 to go. We're all tied up at 17. We have uh, Phoenix, Arizona checking in. Loud and proud out there in Phoenix. All right. Cheering on the Mustangs, a couple of former Munising Mustangs, the OS brothers out there. Yeah, I'm not sure. Usually my brother listens to the games down in Panama City, so I'm not sure if he's listening tonight or not. You can text us at 906-202-0771. Dave and I have got a center court seat, and we have enjoyed this one so far. And uh, 
The Cougars have the ball. We're all tied up at 17. This is Trevor Mackey guarded with Kelta with those two personals. In the corner to Nick Mackey. Top the key to Kennett's guarded by Webster. Mustangs playing man-to-man -man defense. Skyler Lloyd, he's got the freshman Austin Kelto on him. Back to uh, Skyler Lloyd. Kelto moving his feet well. He's quick too. Austin and Andrew. Kinnitz to Trevor. Trevor down the lane. Roller up and no good. Airballed it. Rebound Austin Kelto. Freshman making his presence felt to Bushy. Bushy dribbling down the left side. 4.44 to go. Still 17-17. This is to Kenya. Kenya's going to dribble by Skyler Lloyd. Stop, pop, no good. Rebound, Owis. He's going to go up. He's fouled by Nick Mackey. That's three. <laughs> he just went by him with no problem. Got to the hoop, but there was two more defenders there waiting for him. <coughs> how did he get the rebound? But how, how, did, how did Verrigi not get the foul on the shot? Well, I don't know about that. You know, it's... Owis is uh, showing some athleticism to get that offensive rebound. One and one, the last of those. How is that not a shooting foul? Well, he was going, he had the ball down, he was going back up to go up, but I'd still say on the first shot he was fouled by Verrigi. Well, they didn't call it. They, they called call the whistle, but Owis misses a free throw front of one and one. Austin battles for it, but it goes out of bounds. So still tied at 17. 4.29 to go. Both teams. We should be up four, he's telling them. Ooh, he almost threw that off the back of the backboard. Lloyd gets by Austin. And, and Austin's Austin. going to get the ball on the ground. Austin to Andrew. That's a scrum. Now it's held. Now it's a held ball. It'll be Miracine's ball. Good defense by the Kelto boys over there along with Zach Bushy. How would you like to have to play the Kelto brothers? In a game of uh, two on dribble two. up the ball. Not, yeah. not shooting, just dribbling the ball. Right. Those They're... kids are qu quick like cats. Yep. This is going to be a tight uh, ball game. Can't get you much know, tighter than it is now. Well, tight I, at I mean, on the defensive end, it's going to be tight. They're going to be all over everybody. Pressure's going to be coming from all over. Bushy steps to Richardson. Shots on the way from the... Uh, no good, in and out. Bushy. Rebound Bushy, shots up, no good. He's, He's fouled. finally fouled. This is on uh, Verbriggy. Richardson, another one of those in and out and in and out shots that falls out. And Bushy with the great rebound, and Verbriggy gets a foul, you know. He could be sitting with four right now in the first half. He's got two. Mackey's the only one with three. Bushy, no good, free throw number one. <coughs> So Owis just in. missed. We need to get a lead right here at 407. No missed good. Free throw number two. Verbriggy with the rebound. rebound. So if you're the Mustangs, you've uh, not played perfectly. If you're the Cougars, you've not played oh. perfectly, but you're both still squarely in this game. Mackey to Skyler Lloyd in the corner to Kennett. Kennett with a beautiful move to the glass. He's up and down. Nice, strong, powerful move by number three, Tyler Kennett. And the lead uh, back the way of the Cougars at 19 to 17. Yep, you give up baseline, that's going to hurt you every time. This is uh, Andrew Kelto dribbling down the right side. The uh, pass is to Webster. His three is on the way. Got Good! It! Webster with the deep ball again. They set him up on that play with a double pick high. And he was able to get set and knock it down. Richardson cannot guard Skyler Lloyd from a quickness standpoint, but that's who he has. Yeah. This is uh, Lloyd. He's going to fake the three and drive. Kinnett's jump shots on the way. No good. Back of the rim. Rebound. Owis. He got there, and Verbriggy, fortunate he didn't pick up another one. Yeah, he reached in there. I, I, I can't believe they're not calling anything on him, you know? How many reaches he's got away with? Bushy, top of the key. Andrew on the uh, left wing. Here comes Owis into the corner. They're going to set up Webster again. He's for three. That's off. No good. Rebound. Richardson and, and Verbriggy battle for it. Verbriggy wins that battle. 2.23 to go. Mustangs up one. 20-19. Kinnitz guarded by Webster. 
Swing the ball to Trevor Mackey. Download of Verbrigge, guarded by Bushy with two personals. The ball's gonna go into the backcourt and over and back. Skyler Lloyd begging. Begging. He thought the that, call. that the ball went off of uh, off of Bushy, or is it? He still needed to go get it. Right, you always go get it. He's tried to sell it beforehand. This Kennett's kid has improved a ton. Oh, yeah, he had a great junior move. varsity year to the junior year. To his, uh, let's see, he is a, he's a junior. Austin Kelto, Michael Manisto. Manisto just in the game. He's double teamed. We'll, we'll oh, step through it. Oh, call the fall. And five. I mean, Mackey's reaching in, reaching in, grabbing his arm right in front of the referee, and he oh, won't call, call the nothing. Call, call the, the timeout. Time Wow. Whew. I mean, Munising's got to play through it tonight. Even I'm getting a little excited about the refereeing here now. Well, they are uh, doing their best, and uh, you knew whatever happened tonight, uh, both teams were going to give it everything they had, oh, yeah. and neither team is disappointed tonight. This has been a nice athletic match. Two, uh, right. two very athletic teams. Huh. We gotta, we gotta get the ball into us here. Like get, to see a couple a screen, more free throws. But, but the thing is, you don't have to screen the guy that's guarding him. Screen Verbrigge to keep him away so he can get to the bucket. Yeah, Owens can beat that first guy all he by himself. He can beat Lloyd. Or now they got Kennets on him. Kenya's got it. Kennets is strong, but not as see, quick Verbrigge as Kenya. Verbrigge's coming over to help Lloyd out. Lloyd with the help out knocks him down. No call. Oh he knocked my. him down. Come on. This is, this is a, oh man. Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Superior Central ball. They knocked Owens right off of his feet. And nothing called. With nothing called, they said he just tripped Oh, he just himself. pushed up. They called that on Kelto, but they won't call it on Kennets. This is Kennets with the ball guarding Manisto. Manisto. There's a travel. Yeah. Definitely. <coughs> Give the One, refs credit on that call. 1.30 to go in this one. Until halftime. Ois uh, will dribble down. You've got them in foul issue. I don't think I'd burn clock now. I think I would uh, try to find a way to attack here somehow. Manisto to Kelto. Andrew to Austin. Austin to Kenya. Kenya for three. Got, Got it. it! That was big. I, I don't know if they were looking for that shot in that set, but. Here comes Freeberg. Goes right over Manisto. Shots up, no good. Rebound for Briggy. It's good. Verbrigge's cleaning up the boards here tonight. We got to get a body on him. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's guarding him and nobody's putting pressure on him. Lloyd guarding Andrew Kelto. Kelto to Owis. Owis oh, with Kennets on him. See, we're not getting anybody to step in where Verbrigge's at. Manisto for three. No good. Rebound. Owis. Owis. Short on it. Owis had it and lost it. Austin. Verbrigge took it away. Austin Kelto's going to follow him. <coughs> Mustangs up here, 23-21. And we'll send <clears throat> Matt Verbrigge to the line for two for a one and one. No. Yes, yeah, one, one and one. one. Yep. That was one where Owis had to go up stronger than what he did. He just went up and short-armed that uh, putback. He's got to go up strong. Free throw is no good. Oh. Rebound Trevor Mackey. And he's going to be fouled. Wow. Who was uh, Richardson? Richardson didn't, didn't box out, but he looked like there was a little. I think he got pushed inside. I do, I do too. Little hand on the lower back, and he was taken out of the play. But you got to be strong in there rebounding. So they uh, miss a one and one. Mackey is at the line now for two. Now, how do they call that a shooting foul that quickly? Because that was almost exactly like the uh, other one. Yeah. Mackey misses and misses. Owis with the rebound to Kelto. 
28 seconds, and they'll say one shot. We're not going to get our subs in. Right there. Oh, he had, he had his brother. Got they got to go on the other block, and Andrew's got to look to penetrate. 16 seconds to go. This is Kenya. Double team. It's Kendrew and Andrew with Lloyd on Andrew. This is Ois now. See, everybody seconds. knows that Here Ois is going to be taking it. What a move. Block. Oh. And it's, it's blocked and no shot, no foul. Oh, that was our, we need uh, Andrew Kelto to take the ball, penetrate in the middle, and dump off on the opposite corner because they're just trying to put everybody on Ois. It's, the other guys have got to realize they're on the floor too. And Ois can't do it all. They got to help out. They got to realize and see things. And that time, uh, Andrew Kelto had the lane, give it up. He had his brother on the opposite block. Verbigi was coming. They're all looking to stop Ois. Dave, I'll give you a second to uh, add up some of your numbers and uh, indicate that we will pick a Fox Nagani player of the game here at the conclusion. We'll do that for each team. The Mustangs um, and Cougars in a dandy here, 23-21 after two Mustangs, um, the better uh, of the halves by two points. But if you look at our missed free throws, we could have had a lot more than that. Right, we missed four free throws in the half and Superior Central missed uh, one, two, three, six free throws in the half. But, uh, you know, it's like to see a more consistent game out of the reps. If you're going to call a push off by uh, one player on one team, you got to make the same call on the other end of the floor. It's got to go both ways. You can't, you can't have one team being able to push off and the other team not being able to push off. You got to make it consistent. They called That's one on Kelto, and the only difference that I would say in the somewhat defense of the referees is that Kelto kind of um, led with his arm, but kind of also rumped him at the same time. Kinnitz was riding his back. Uh, up the court, and I don't know if Kelto was trying to draw a foul, but he kind of initiated that contact. Mackey, on the other hand, uh, those uh, push that you're talking about are, are the, coming in the scope the, of the game. The, the Michael Jordan uh, push off to get your shot yes. off. We've got uh, fans in from Big Rapids watching <clears throat> this one. My aunt and uncle have stopped up to cheer on the Mustangs. Mary Sue is a 19... 51 graduate of Minasing High School. There's a lot of people here. Oh, yeah. I see I've a lot of the state champion kids uh, DJ uh, Paquette, Jeff Seberg, um, Bob Hill. Uh, you see a lot of uh, crossover people uh, across the way. There's Wade Manisto wearing his orange and black. Of course, his son plays on this team, but he's from out here. You look over and you see Carrie Nettleton sitting uh, with her husband, uh, Jamie Kinnitz, uh, who was one of the players that played on the semifinal uh, victorious team uh, but lost in the final, Superior Central. And I don't remember how long ago that was, but that, it was That was in the 90s. Yeah. I got the program at home. 92, we were at the 93. Games. Or 94, somewhere in yeah. there. I don't remember exactly when it was. Yeah. And obviously, Superior Central made runs to the Breslin Center in consecutive years, led by uh, just a great team last year. But Jordan Chartier was a on the floor coach, just a great uh, floor oh, yeah, leader. Definitely, for the he was a good, lead, you know, good leader for his dad. Another uh, extension of his father out there on the floor. And you had yeah, uh, he was like a coach out there too, as well as a player. You had uh, Nicholas Mackey's brother Lucas on that team. Uh, by the way, Chartier went on to play uh, college at Michigan Tech. Uh, he's uh, still enrolled there. Um, the uh, other, uh, Dylan Johnson, the big center, is playing for Finlandia. And I think Lucas Mackey uh, may, may still play some basketball. I think he went to Finlandia. He went to Finlandia, but he transferred to Northern the second semester. Okay. The um, Prasnik uh, kid was a good uh, contributor. They had the Charlevoix kid, uh, also a good contributor on that uh, team. And, and just a great run, consecutive trips to the Breslin Center for Superior Central. So everybody needs to find their seats. We're ready to go. And Mustangs will have it first. Webster to Kelto. 
23-20. Superior Central fans making some noise. Owis to Andrew. Swing pass to Webster. Three oh, out you got to be kidding it's me. Good. It's good. It's a oh, Webster, but did you see Verbiggy run through Joey Richardson and no foul oh, called? Verbiggy ran right through Richardson on I, the screen, I knocked him to that. the floor. Yep. But I did yep. see that uh, but, uh, there's great a foul called. Yep. On, on the three point. Webster's going to the line for a chance on a four point play. Well, here. they call it on Verbiggy. He fouled Webster after he came through Richardson. Free throw is good. That's who the foul was on? Yeah. It's his third. There's a turnover. Richardson beats uh, the uh, streaking Freeberg to the ball. So Joe uh, having his presence felt here early on. Kelto dribbling to Bushy. Bushy guarded by Freeberg. Could have taken it. Excuse me, Rodriguez. Kelto now with all kinds of pressure on him. He dribbles out of it. And Alex uh, Freeberg gives him a hip. And that's three on him. So that's, that's two on him. So two quick fouls on Superior Central. Mustangs' biggest lead of the game at six. Oh, Kelto uh, has the ball pass. entered. Lots of contact on Andrew. He's double team and needs help. Finds Owis. Owis is going to get into the lane and scoop and got oh, it. Nice move to avoid uh, Trevor Mackey who tried blocking that. Verbriggy, he threw the ball away a minute ago, guarded by Bushy in the backcourt. This is Cody Mackey. He traveled before he put he it might down. Might have. Richardson taps the ball away, Ooh, but it's out almost of bounds. off of Freeberg. Yeah. Great hands by Joey. Timeout, Superior Central. Wow. Couldn't, couldn't have had a better start to this. What a start here. Quick six points for the Mustangs to extend their lead. That's that pressure defense coming at you again. It is. Dave, uh, you know, we talked about it. There's a lot of former Mustangs uh, sitting in attendance here tonight. Um, I do want to just mention that I, I see a few of last year's Mustangs. Um, Garrett Beath helping out on the bench. Uh, you got across the way Clayton Hendrickson and um, Dylan Koenig. Uh, Cameron Nebel is here. Um, you know, those kids did a nice job with this group last year. Right. And they, they deserve some credit. Definitely. That was Coach Waterman's first year. Those kids worked hard for him. They bought into everything he wanted. Garrett Veet was a kid who liked to launch deep shots and stuff. Bought into that defense that, that Waterman wanted them to play. Became a better defensive ball player and a better offensive ball player because of it. 29-21. Largest lead for the Mustangs at 8. Spear Central trying to cut into that right now. Kelto guarding uh, Trevor Mackey. He's got the ball top of the key. This is Cody Mackey. They're posting up Andrew. Trevor's going to spin on him. Goes up. No good. Rebounded Trevor. Richardson had it. Shots up and no good. And Kelto was just trying to get out of the way. And tough break on Andrew. That's three on him. Three on Andrew. They're going to try to work on him to get him out of the game. Well, now, that's been a that's matchup a, that they've taken advantage of all night long. Right. That's a Kelto tough matchup. Kelto getting post up not, not, does not favor the Mustangs. Although Mac Mackey missed the first one. And the ball was tapped by Richardson right to Trevor Mackey. First free throw's good. 29-22. Second free throw's good. 29-23. On that post up, Kelto's going to have to get weak side help a lot quicker than what he's been getting. Bushy has the ball, gets it to Andrew. Andrew to Joe. Joe to Bushy. Fakes the three. To Webster. Fakes the three. And they'll reset the offense. Superior Central, uh, they're man-to-man -man now. Now they're still playing that zone, but uh, they've extended it. This is Owis to Andrew. Andrew back to Kenya. Kenya is going to be double teamed, gets through it, finds Andrew. Andrew to Webster, three on the way, no good. Rebound Richardson, Richardson. falls on the ground, and he can't control it. Held ball. Superior Central's ball. <laughs> so at least that gets burned, the uh, alternating right, possession. Come but back to us Richardson now. looked like he had it in scoring position. Oh, yeah, he should have. He could have. It seems like he should have never brought the ball down. This is uh, Freeberg to Trevor. Trevor's going to go oh, right nice through Bushy's legs, Ollis. and it's uh, knocked out of bounds by Bushy from behind. Uh, oh, it's got oh, that oh, me, right through Bushy's legs. Yeah. Yep. 5.55 to go, quarter number three. Mackey, top of the key, has the three if he wants it, won't take it. 
Nicholas looking inside. Richardson steps in for the defense to Verbrigge. And he traveled. How about a three seconds? How about a travel? Nicholas goes up, no good. Rebound is held. <coughs> Kelto and Verbrigge. In what the old battle. days, that would have been a fun one, wouldn't it? Yeah. So held ball right back. The alternating possession comes right back. That's how hard this thing is being contested. Every bounce. Every bounce, every everything. It's If you're not a player that likes to be bumped out there on the floor, you wouldn't like this game because you're getting a lot of pressure from both teams. Kelto uh, with the dribble. Spins. He's got Freeberg on him to Kenya. Kenya's going to step through. Mackey just oh. picked up his fourth. That's three team fouls on the uh, on the Cougars. Mackey's going to stay in there with those four personals. Gave it to the wrong player. And uh, Kelto uh, with the entry pass. 5.25 to go. It's been a hotly contested game. Kelto to Bushy. Bushy to Joe. Joe's going to drive, stop, pop. No good. Can't get it to go. Well, up ahead is uh, Freeberg. Up ahead of Kelto. Don't follow him, Andrew. He doesn't. Rebound to Mackey up, and oh, Bushy Mackie. gets it instead. Oh, man. So Nicholas Mackey trailing the play, not giving up on the miss. And Bushy picks up his third. <coughs> Joe uh, Richardson would like to have that one back. He made a great move. Oh, yeah. He just he couldn't get it to go off the glass. Just, just too strong off the glass. Come off the back of the, or come off the front of the iron. Mackey makes. Superior Central on a run here. Everything coming at the free throw line. That's four in a row. And it's 29-25. Five minutes to go in the quarter. Kelto. Right there. Oh, he's. They don't know what they're running here. This is Ois. Guarded by Mackey. He's going to dribble through. He's going to go up, and he's fouled. Trevor right, Mackey. Trevor? Yep. That's three on him. And that's four team fouls. So we're going to shoot a lot of free throws at this pace before this one ends. Richardson, top of the key to Kelto, to Webster. Webster down in the corner. Oh, off Dribbles his foot. off of his foot. It's out of bounds. Where, where's he going? Off into the corner. Right. Still 29-24. Nicholas Mackey on the entry pass. Webster uh, guarding him. This is Verbrigge, who's a good dribbler for his size. Kelto with uh, two, free, two personals. There's Richardson giving away to Nicholas Mack. He gets a rebound, but it's on the ground, and it's out of bounds to I think Superior, Superior Central. Central. How is Nicholas Mackey getting in there and getting rebounds? Two consecutive trips. Yep. One of the scrawniest kids on the floor, and I don't mean that in a bad way. He's a sophomore, and he hasn't. He keeps working and battling bet he in has. there. He's working. Yep. You know, when he's coming up with rebounds, it's only one reason why, because he's working. Effort. Trevor. Double teamed by Kelto. Shots up. It's a runner. It's up. No good. Oh, a skies for the rebound. He's fouled. That's four on Matt Verbrigge. So you got Verbrigge with four. Mackey with four. Mackey with three. Three and three. We got uh, Bushy and Kelto with three each for Munison. I don't think I'd quit attacking now. I wouldn't settle for jump shots. This is Ois. He's going to dribble around with Freeberg on him. Now Mackey, Webster, three on the way. Go! Oh, another deep ball. Oh, Richardson should have had his hands up. Freeberg yeah. instead to Mackey, down to Verbrigge, and Bushy's going to get fouled for a push. Oh, that's uh, number four on Bushy. Three forty-six. Austin for Zach. 32-25 after the Webster bomb. This is Cody Mackey. Two players on the floor with four right now. Freeberg inside to Verbrigge. Shots up. Good. Kenny Ollis uh, now with the ball coming up. There's nobody uh, 
able to play with Verbrigge down low. If they get it to him, he's going to score more often than not. Kelto through the double team to Austin. Oh, Shots great up. look. Andrew to Austin. That's what I mean. He's got to get in there and find There's somebody. There's a charge. Trevor yeah. Mackey just blew right through. Oh, Andrew Kelto. Four. Yeah. That's number four. Trevor Mackey. Yeah. Was it the off arm? Yep. Yep. That telling you, you get yep. referees that decide to call that, and he's going to be in trouble. Great uh, shot by Austin Kelto, but a better look by his brother to and find how about, him. How about the defensive play by Andrew Kelto? Oh, yeah. There's a get, kid that doesn't make the all-defensive team. If he doesn't make it, uh, it something's there's wrong. There's something wrong, yeah. He's, he's uh, to me, he's the best defender in the UP that I've seen. You know, but I haven't seen a lot in Eastern end teams, and I haven't seen the other end. No, but we've enjoyed our seat watching these Mustangs all season long. But, you know, he's he's been asked to take the challenge of uh, coming after guys that are four, five, six inches taller than him. And how, than do, you, how do you tell a kid you're not to shoot? Because really, Andrew Kelto is, is coached not to shoot. And, you and, know, he, and he's bought into that. You yeah, talked about those last that. year's seniors that we mentioned. Um, Koenig, Veith, uh, Nebel, and uh, Hendrickson, and there might be others. Those are just right. people that I've been able to see uh, buying in last year. Andrew Kelto had to have a completely different uh, mindset. Remember, Ois was up, and they looked for Kelto and Bushy to score when they were junior varsity players in 10th grade. Right. It's all, it's all been about those guys. Webster's going to drive, and, and Cody, Cody Mackey. Mackey gets a foul. That's only his first. One and one. He's Webster been, to the line. He's been playing a solid ball game here tonight, Cody. He has uh, three points to his efforts, but uh, a couple of a rebound and a steal, but he hasn't been uh, doing anything foolish with his hands. He's no. been staying out of foul trouble. That's his first. And he's a sophomore, Dave, and he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's a solid ball player. Yep, solid. He's built just like his brother, strong looking. He's got a lot more definition than his sophomore cousin, Nicholas Mackey. Yes. Is that a one And Nicholas one? looks, yeah, yeah look, looks just like Lucas, doesn't he, when he was a sophomore? Oh. It's like mirror images. They, same action, same everything. Webster makes and misses. <coughs> and Kelto is going to commit a foul Ooh. coming in. Looked like he might good, have had a hell of a hustle. Ball. It's great hustle. Great hustle. He was quick to the ball, but 35. Uh, Mackey was a little uh, stronger with the 35-27. Mustangs up eight. That's their ties for the biggest lead that they've had. Freebird might have walked. And I think there. he walked too. This is uh, Trevor Mackey, guarded by Kelvin. There's Kelko. that arm just extending and pushing with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the corner to Nicholas Mackey. Nicholas takes oh, it away. Oh, he just Gage took it away. Took it away, and then he's knocked off his feet. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. He pushed. He got pushed. Great defense by Webster. Took the ball right away from Nicholas Mackey when he presented it to him. Then he got knocked off his feet, and the refs yep. called him for traveling. Nicholas went right back after him to uh, tie the ball up again. Right. As we mentioned, every pass is contested. Every bounce is contested. Every position on the floor is contested. Ooh. Mackey nearly stolen by Kelto. Down low, and Ois is going to get called. Yep. It's okay. That's only his first. He second, was, I think. Uh, second. First. first. Oh, man. Trevor was wide oh. open. But How I, in the world did that happen? He, Down low to Verbrigge. Kelto steps in. No call, no foul. And Verbrigge off good the glass play. and good. good pass. Great take by Matt Verbrigge. Kelto into the front court. Guarded by Nicholas Mackey with those four personals. You know, Kennett's really gave him a spark. If you're right, he did. Superior Central, you might uh, look for that to happen again in a minute. Kelto to Kelto to Richardson. Richardson loses it, but gets it to Webster. Bomb on the way. No good. Knocked into the stands by Cody Mackey on a box out. And Trevor Mackey in a hurry the other end. Shots up by Nicholas Mackey. No good. Rebound. Verbrigge stabs it. But Austin Kelto beats him to it. Here comes Ois. 
and it's a little kind of tiny break. Always through the sea. Shots up and good. Good. Oh, he called him for a charge. Oh, you got to be kidding me on that. They didn't want to foul out Nicholas Mackey. Oh man, looked like he slid by it, but. Wow, that could turn out to be a huge call, depending on how this one finishes. Nicholas to Joe Richardson's going to yeah! save it off of off of Verbrigge. Uh, Great hustle by Richardson, just working hard out there, giving him a steal on that because that's what it was. Sure it was. He got the ball. He uh, banged it off for Biggie. Kelto uh, with the basketball to Manisto. Owis in the corner for three. Good! Wow, they're coming alive here now. 129 to go for Briggy with the basketball. He's going to dribble into traffic. It's on the ground. Kelto's going to take Kelto. it away from him. Yeah. Held ball. He went into a central. He went into a triple team and didn't see it. He's been so used to having his way of bringing the ball up against the Mustangs. Well, he's right a now. great ball handler. He is Dave. a good ball handler for a sophomore, and that what is he six four? He's a, he's a junior, or, but but he's a great ball handler for being six five. Oh, he handles the ball really well. He's been the reason why they've been staying in our games is because he, he breaks the press for him by bringing the ball up. All right, Tyler Kennett's in the ball game who had a nice spurt for the uh, Cougars in the first half. And uh, he comes in for Cody Mackey. There they are inbounding it to him to bring it up against Richardson. Joe moving his feet. Keep your hands off him, Joe. No. Oh, Joe caught an elbow. No reason. No to, reason uh, for anything to be called. There it was a good no the call. Ball's thrown away as Mackey was looking inside. Nicholas Mackey was looking inside for Verbrigge. <laughs> and if you look at these Cougars, they're kind of wondering right now: Have we uh, lost our touch? Here? Have we spent all that energy? Nicholas Mackey saying no. Double dribble. Oh, on good pressure by Nicholas Mackey there. Yep. Forces a turnover. I, I think he tipped it up. Did he dribble that? Yeah, he did. He's yeah. trapped. He gets it to Trevor, though, guarded by Andrew. Trevor Richardson with a double. Nice Picks steal it up. by Richardson. Watch out behind, Joe. Joe gets it to a guard. That's what he's trying to do. This is Manisto in the game, and Manisto goes to throw it. It's kicked out by Kinnitz. 38-29. Mustangs down, uh, up nine. 40. 47 seconds to go. Now you might see the Mustangs uh, oh. take some time. Or maybe we won't. Who knows? Kelto to Manisto. Three. Corner. Traveled. Walked. He Set did. His feet. Definitely. A big time hop skip. Yep. Yes, he did. He moved both feet to reset to take the shot where his feet The only thing I'd set. say is that I've seen that more than once tonight. It's strange to see it called for the first time right there. For Briggy. Behind the back dribble. Again, a big guy. Breaking the press by himself. Kelto, Kelto with, a, with a silly foul. He reached That's over the top. That's number four. And now we're in foul. We got Bushy with four, Kelto with four, Ois with two, Webster with two, Kelto with two. You look down at the, the other end, you got Nicholas Mackey four, Verbigi four, Trevor Mackey four, Kinnitz two. Skyler Lloyd coming back. Lloyd in for coming the in. Now, shouldn't. Gage take that lower block box out from Austin Kelto. Definitely. Look at the mat mismatch here with Kinnitz, you know. But Austin, he does a good job. But usually it's you want to screen out so that back guy can get the rebound. Shots on the way and good for Mackey. We've reached the uh, one and one bonus. Each team with 17 fouls. So mathematically at least, these uh, fouls are dead even. Second free throw, also good. And Mackey missed his first two, and he's been four for four since. And how about that for uh, on the other end? Oh, oh come the on. Away. And uh, it will be. <clears throat> Man, we're just Central's letting him back in the ball game here late in the quarter. Well, we said, should we dribble it out? And then Manisto traveled. Now we have a turnover by Andrew. Spirit Central scored uh, two a minute ago on a foul by Andrew. <laughs> And uh, with 17 ticks to go, we'll see what Superior Central has in mind. Verbrigge 
Top of the key to Nicholas Mackey. For Briggy to Lloyd. Six seconds. This is Lucas Mack, Nicholas Mackey to Trevor Mackey. Shots up and good. And the quarter will end. 38-33. Yeah, we give, give him four points in that last few seconds. And the Cougar fans on their feet. 38-33 at the end of the quarter. We're, you know, we just uh, made mistakes here at the end of the quarter. Traveling, turnover. You know, we got to, like, for uh, Michael Manistow there, he's set in the corner already. Your feet should be set. You shouldn't have to reset them when you catch the ball. You should already have your feet set and ready to shoot that shot. Yeah, it was a big turnover because yep. that because led to he, Andrew Kelko's fourth foul. You're seeing more and more referees are starting to call that. These guys have been able to get away with that little hop all for, for years now. And now it's called tonight, so they've got to learn, hey, you've got you to get your feet set and ready to shoot. A lot of girls uh, have made the trip out here. A lot of girls varsity players cheering on their boys. Classmates. Eight minutes to go. <laughs> now, Munison give up three baskets, but the Superior Central went six for six at the free throw line in that quarter. Munising knocked down three threes in that and uh, went two for three from the free throw line. I'd like to see Kenya take it in. He made a basket that they waved off. On a charge call. Huge call. Kelto to Webster. Three. No, he won't take it. This is Kelto top of the key. This is Owens. He'll take it. No good. Rebound to Lloyd. Long one. Lloyd will. Austin Kelto picks his pocket. Yep. Great play. He didn't know where Austin was, and Austin was smart and heady and just waited for him to turn back into him. Owens to Andrew. Kelto dribbling to his right. Lloyd on him. Kelto to Webster. Three on the way. No good. Rebound Kenya. Kenya's going to go back up. Shots up. Good! All right. <clears throat> and no foul called. Kelto nearly fouled out of the game on Mackey right there. Shots up and no good. Oh, they're calling a block on Webster. Good thing or, uh, well, Webster had, I thought he had position, uh, but uh, that would have been number five on uh, Trevor Mackey if they would have got the call our way. 7-10 to go. Mustangs up seven, but Mackey right back at the line. Eight team fouls now. He's, he's hit four in a row after missing his first two. That's long. And did you think there was a little bit of contact on the Owens shot? A little bit. He should have been shooting uh, one. Uh, the uh, bonus. And one, yeah. Bushy's coming back in. If he makes it. He doesn't. Austin. Rebound Austin Kelto. Austin. In that low block spot. I wouldn't put him there, but I'm not the coach. Yeah. He gets off the floor pretty good. He, sure he does. boxes out well. Webster to Kelto. You can't double team this kid. Too good a dribbler. All the way down the lane. Shots up. Nice. Good. That's what he's got to do against this. He has the talent to do that all night long. That will open everything else up. On the other end. Shots up. No. Rebound Mackey. <laughs> yes. He knocked Owens to the floor. So on consecutive trips, Trevor Mackey took it in. A minute ago, they said it was a Webster foul. That time, they said nothing. Each time, it was close to a charge. Owens into oh, the Oh, he's got to look opposite. This is Webster to Andrew Kelto. Kelto, top of the key, dribbling Skyler Lloyd in his back pocket. <coughs> to Richardson. Richardson in the corner to Webster. Webster to Owens. Kenya's going to drive, shoot. Good. Good. They just all stood there. They didn't want to play defense. They're outrunning us, and it's Kennett's short. Webster with the rebound. And Gets the defense. To Andrew. Here's numbers for the Mustangs. Little four on three. Let's see what happens. It's always for three. That's off. No good. Air ball. Rebound to Kennett's. And the Mustangs need to get back and reset their offense. Bushy's going to come in on the next dead oh, ball. Mackey. Nicholas with the uh, drive. Always with the defense. Nicholas gets around him. Yep. And there's another foul on Kenya. That's three on Kenya. But did you see the push off before that on Mackey? It wasn't called. That arm push off. 44-35. Nine-point lead for Munison after the consecutive baskets by Owens. 
Waterman was asking him. That was on the floor. He wasn't shooting. <coughs> Wants a timeout. He's not getting one. It's a one and one. Timeout, Munison. Well, we're at 44-35. Munison's got the lead. 5:44 to go. Nicholas Mackey's going to be on the line for a one and one. You know, I thought Nicholas got away with that uh, Jordan push off, and then Kenya fouled him. Kenya did foul him. He had his hands all over him. It yeah. was poor defense on his part, not using his feet, especially when you already have two fouls in a critically close ball game here with uh, a lot of time remaining. And the Mustangs now with foul issues, and we can't lose Andrew Kelto with what he means to this team. Right. He's got to be on the floor to dribble for you. Right now, Ois has got three. Bushy's got four. Andrew Kelto's got four. Gage Webster has three. Austin Kelto, two. Uh, Kinnitz for Superior Central has two. Nicholas Mackey, four. Freeberg's got two, but Verbiggy's got four, and Trevor Mackey's got four. So you got Nicholas you gotta, Mackey has four. Yeah, it's so yeah, lots of players are pushing disqualification here. And it's Nicholas Mackey at the line for a one-on-one -on -one free throw. Makes his first. Chips into that lead a little bit. Back to eight. Second free throw, also good. And <coughs> Kelta will dribble into the Freeburg pressure. This is Kenya, back to Andrew, over the timeline. Back to Kenya, fakes the three to Andrew. Andrew to his right, they're looking for Kenya in the corner, get it to Bushy instead. Bushy, right Bushy hand off nice. the glass. Nice take. How about Andrew Kelta with that look? Yep, he kept the defender on his back, found Bushy, gave him a nice entry pass on the bounce, and uh, Bushy was able to go up right-handed, lay it in. This is Nicholas Mackey, guarded by Kenya, throws it up, no good. Andrew Kelt with the rebound. Andrew will slow things down now. Mustangs by nine. Kenya's going to attack for Briggy. Shots up, no good. Rebound to Kennets. A little bit of contact there, but these refs don't want to foul anybody out. Trevor Mackey for three, did the same hop. Yep. They don't and call it, him. and he nails the three. Yep, call the hop on one 40. end, you got to call the hop on the other end. 4.44 to go in this ball game. Bushy, baseline jumper. He's knocked oh, over, yeah. Mackey just fouled out. Yep, Mackey's gone. Bushy will go to the line for two. Nice game for Nicholas Mackey. Yep, Nicholas played a good hard game here tonight. Stayed on the floor a long time with that foul problem. Did a great job. And played here's the hard. really tough part about that call, if you're Nicholas Mackey or a Cougar fan, Bushy had already shot the ball. He, already he, hit, shot him, he hit him in a uh, awkward position. In a closeout situation. Is it a one and one or a two? Two. <laughs> one and one. Oh, you know why? Because it was after, after the shot. After the shot. It was after the shot. It's a good call. It was definitely after the shot. Bush, no good. Rebound to Trevor Mackey. Well, we're not making free throws here. Bushy's missed uh, four free throws here tonight, and one of them on the, just now a front end of a one and one Cody Mackey, lob pass. No, Travel. he traveled. Good call by the referee. And great defense, Zach Bushy. Yep. He might not be making free throws, but he's having his presence felt yep. in this game. That was, that was a good call. 4.24 to go in the fourth and final quarter. Owis and Kelto in the backcourt. They'll get over the timeline. Owis to Bushy. Six point lead. Owis. He is fouled yep. by Cody, Cody Mackey. Mackey. And here's your senior Going to the, to the line, line for two. Uh, it should be a one and one yet. All right. He hasn't been at a line since the first half. Lloyd will come back in for the nice shot. Cougars. 
for Cody Mack. Gonna get the bonus. 47-40. Owis at the line for the second of two. Also good. 48-40. Good poise by the senior to go up there and knock down that one and one. Kennett's uh, with the ball on the other end. Oh, the oh. That could have easily been a double dribble. He trapped it off his body. Brigge. Guarded by Bushy with his four. How about Kelto on uh, Trevor, Trevor Mackey, Mackey down low. Mackey's four. posting. Kelto needs to be careful. Oh, he pushed takes, up, but takes he took it away. it away. Kelto took it away from him. To Bushy. We got numbers if we push now. Kelto to Owis. Owis could have attacked, but maybe the clock is more of our friend. Maybe Goal. the clock is more of our friend. Richardson to Kelto. Back to Owis. Owis going to drive. Goes right around, shots up, no good. Richardson with the rebound, up, no good. Rebound for Briggy. For Briggy to Trevor Mackey. 48-40. Kelto, Kelto picks his pocket again, but this is on the ground right to uh, Tyler Kennett. Kennett loses it to Bushy and then fouls him. Absolutely. Yep. Bushy with the steal, draws the foul, going to go to the line for one and one. Two. We've Shoot. reached the oh, double yeah, we reached the double. We need Bush to knock him down here. He's missed one, two, three, four. And the one was the front front end of the one and one. We need him to knock these down. I hate to say down. this, Dave, but he missed the front end of the one and one in the first half, too. So did Owis. I thought that was a two shot uh, in the first half. He made, missed the first one, made the second one. Okay. Then the next one was in shot two. Yeah. Missed again. 48-40. If the Mustangs have made it to 50, they've won most of their games. They're close to that now. Nice shot that time by Bushy. Better look and release. The senior stroked that one home 49-40. Trevor Mackey dribbling to his right, guarded by Webster. Inside of Verbriggy. He's going to go up. Beautiful move. In and out. No good. Oh, Rebound, well, Webster. He got to robbed Ellis. on that shot. But He's that a good looking just, player, isn't he, Verbriggy? Oh, yeah. He just put that in there, and it rattled all around in the rim. Wouldn't go in. Owis double teamed. Strong gets it to Bushy. Look opposite. Oh, opposite. Gage Webster, Webster should have went open. all the way to the yeah. hoop. Owis has it, uh, doing a little shuffling, a little uh, shake and bake. This is it. This is it. This is our stall, and it's going to be free throws from here on out. Right. Coach Waterman's going to let him try to dribble this thing out. 49-40. And I'm telling you something, Dave. We take damn good care of the basketball. Oh yeah, they've been doing a good job here tonight. You know, Superior Central. I got them for four steals. And uh, I got Richardson for four steals alone for Munising. Yeah. You know, we've been taking good care of the basketball. We just made a few bad passes, but uh, we're knock, knocking down free throws right now. There's that magic number, 50 to 40. <coughs> it's been 55 years since the Mustangs have won a district. No oh. good on the second. They're in good shape tonight. But a lot of game to be played Verbrigge here. He just pulled down another board for his ninth in the game. 2.22 to go in this one. Freeberg, top of the key to Cody Mackey. Webster uh, with the defense. This is Trevor Mackey. Trevor to Freeberg. Taking a lot of time are the Cougars. And timeout. Time out. The coach agrees with me. They've got yeah. to show some urgency. Mustang still playing good defense. And, you know... Superior Central is only what? They've knocked down two threes, but they haven't taken many threes here tonight at no. all. Probably Trevor. about three of them the whole game. <laughs> and that was a trademark of last year's team. Oh, they, were, they weren't afraid to launch from anywhere on the floor last year. They'd be out at the spiking line and they'd be letting them Lucas fly. Lucas Mackey were, would let her go. If he was open, he Chartier had the range. Chartier could hit Chartier from there. Prasnick could too. hit from there. You know, yeah. Dylan Johnson could make oh, him from there. Johnson could shoot from deep. That's, you know, he did a great job. 50 to 40 with 130 seconds to go. And the Mustangs will play some keep away. Oh, they throw it away. It. Yeah, it's okay. It goes in the back, yeah, back door. Yeah, it back, was okay, yeah, court. but they had more guys hustling to it than we did. Trevor Mackey guarded by Kelto. Step back three on the way. No good. No good. Rebound is out of bounds to the good. Mustangs. 
Nice job, Joey Richardson, to box out uh, yep. the streak. Good of hustle Freeburg. by Freeburg, but better box out by Richardson. Now, if you're Superior Central, you have to foul, and there's so many kids on the floor with uh, lots of foul issues. Ois, take it in there, Kenny. He's just mauled <laughs> by uh, Cody Mackey. Kennett's will come back in. Oh, that's on Lloyd, not Mackey. Lloyd. But it was. That's his it, first, is it? Yeah, it was. There was no subtlety about that foul. OS at the line. Good. Or was that foul? Uh, that foul was on. Uh, Lloyd. Lloyd, yep. So now Kelto needs to really make sure he doesn't fall out because we need him to help Kenya dribble. Right. This thing is. Uh, we don't need Kenya to pick up anything foolish right here. I wish he would have taken it at the glass here a minute ago, but. Oh, he's got it. Oh, it's, it's going to take it yep, away from Lloyd. Took it away. Great defense. Ois coming through the scrum, a little three on one, but he will slow things down. You know why? Time means more to us. Another foul. Time, Time means down. more Freeburg. to us. Kenya, he wants him to keep it up and oh, keep him strong. 23 on Lloyd. He doesn't want anybody shooting free throws but Ois. Yeah. Well, Webster, uh, you know, he's a good free throw shooter too. He's 95 seconds away two from for our three. first district crown. There. Been what, 55, almost 56 years? 55 years. Webster makes them both. 54 40. No fouls, gentlemen. Freeberg is going to go on Richardson. Richardson Why would you put your hands on him, Why? Joe? Use your feet, Joe. Yeah. Or let him go and get help out. Right. You're way away from the basket. Freeberg isn't going to hurt you out there. No. Give him the three. 90 let him, seconds let to him go. Let him launch it because I. You know, he hasn't shot one this this whole ball game. 90 seconds left. And now the Mustangs up 14, largest game of the, of the season, or largest lead of the game. No good oh. by Freeburg. Superior Central fans, nothing to be uh, disappointed about. These kids came out and played hard for you tonight. This will be a game the Mustangs will benefit. We're on the way to the regionals, Dave. We're going to the regionals. Good on the second free throw. First time in 55 years. Get it in. It's into Bushy. These kids are just too good of ball handlers. Ois dribbling up, and he gets through yep, traffic. Mackey didn't want to get in foul Ois trouble. through Webster. Webster's going to get fouled, and he'll head back to the line. Freeberg. Yeah. You just with those three kids handling the ball, Bushy, Kelto, and Ois. There's just no way you're going to turn yeah. them over. And you don't you don't want to put if Bushy didn't shoot good free throws here tonight, but you still don't want to put him on the line because he's he is a good free throw shooter. Yep. Just having an off night here tonight, which bodes well for the next one. But sometimes Zach has a pretty nice comeback game. He played right. great against Big Bay tonight. Oh, did he ever? 55, Dave. Look at it. It's been 55 years. Check that scoreboard. Yep. 56 for the Mustangs. 41, 15 point lead, biggest of the game. Freeberg to Lloyd for three, and Ois oh, fouled him. Why do you foul a jump shooter? No, you don't even do that, can you? That's, that was foolish. That's let four him on take, Ois. Let him take that shot. You're up 16. You don't want him scoring with the clock That's all right. Stop. We're but all we're, right. Up, we're up 15, now, minute 13. Now, now Lloyd will head to the line for three. Yeah. In a close ball game, that would have really. So you, it's a teaching moment, Dave. You're yep, still, you you're still able him. to uh, do what you need to do here. Lloyd makes the first. The only thing that matters now is the final score. Right. We're up. 73 seconds to go in this one. Mustangs by 14. Now 13. And still 13. Somebody went into the lane early. Lloyd did. Must have known it was uh, off. Yeah, I, I don't know if he was trying to miss it on purpose so they could get the rebound. OS double teamed. Look at all the way down here. Kelto to Richardson. Richardson will dribble and get it to Webster. Webster, find OS. And he's going to be fouled. 
Yep. Freeberg and Cody Mackey. Yeah. And this is a teaching moment, too. Yeah, right. There's a young man over there in first grade that made a sign today that said the uh, curse will be broken. Oh, he, yeah. br he brought out a marker <laughs> to scratch out will be, and it's going to read is broken in about 65 seconds. Webster makes the first, 57-43. Webster Mackie. makes the second. Kelto on Mackey. Mackey behind the back dribble into front court. Three on the way. No good. Rebound Owis. He's not going to get rid of it. He'll be fouled here in a second. Keep dribbling, buddy. Out of bounds. Uh, knocked from behind to Skylar Lloyd. 52 seconds left in this one. Mustang fans are having fun. Oh, stolen. stolen. Kelto's pass was knocked away. Skyler Lloyd's going to attack. No good on the shot. Rebound. Kent, uh, Freeberg gets up and good. 58-45. Always has it to Kelto. 37 seconds to go. Andrew Kelto will head to the line. Get him in the scorebook. boy, Andrew. He Actually, looked, he made a, he made he a made basket a earlier. Yep. And it was a big one. It was huge. They were overplaying our wings so much. That he had to. He, he had that look and opportunity in the first half. He should have taken it. But second half, he made them pay and did a great job of doing it. Going to the hoop on that play. Good. The senior strokes one. Munising's uh, in this quarter right now has missed one, two, three, four free throws. But uh, they made a bunch. Second free throw, no good. Rebound for Briggies, 10th. 30 seconds to go. Freeberg makes a shot. Oh, is smart not to foul him. Richardson to Bushy. Bushy does a nice job coming up with it. And now Joe. It's a three on, a two on one. Webster is going to go in. Webster to Andrew. Andrew to Zach. Zach is going to be fouled by Freeberg. Nah, Freeberg just fouled out. Yeah. Great hustle. What a, what great. a game for Alex Freeberg. Oh, yeah, Freeberg. Uh, four yeah. points in the fourth quarter, yeah. one in the first, three rebounds and steal. Yeah. But the defense he played out there tonight was just awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We're waiting for a sub to come in. No, he's in already. Free throw by Bush. He's oh. no good. It's all right, Bush. That's all right. 59-47. Got to get up on them toes and follow through to the bucket. He's going to make this one. Get us to an even 60. Yeah, boy. That's a good call. For Briggy, always taps it away. Right to Zach Bushy's mom. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Seven seconds to go. <laughs> Shot on the way. It's a three. It's no good. One. No. That weight that you just heard smash to the floor was 55 pounds. A 55-year-old monkey has been put to sleep Finally. by these Munising Mustangs. Regional action will be Gotta Munising Mustang regional action on Monday night. We don't know who we're going to play. What a game here today. Mustangs played great. Cougars played great. Oh, you, knew that they were gonna, you knew they were going to give you everything they had. And uh, they certainly did. <clears throat> and listen to this crowd. The son of Swami. You got this one wrong, yep. buddy. He predicted the tournament experience of the Cougars would come to play. But he counted out a game, bunch of Mustangs. Seniors uh, led the way for Munising tonight, and Webster with a nice, nice assist as a junior. Austin Kelto had some nice minutes off the bench as well. Manisto didn't hurt us uh, when he was on the floor. Stasewich played well with his limited minutes, and that's as deep as he went, Dave. Eight people. Yep. Superior Central getting a nice round of applause from both, both crowds.
District 125 champions. Got a great song to it. Lindbeck will head out to accept his medal. All these kids saw some action on the uh, first game against Big Bay Tanakh. They're going to go numbers all the way down to the bottom, which means the last to get his medal will be Kenya Owens. Webster, Webster and Ellis combined for 50 tonight. 50 of the 60. Yep. Bushy must have had about four or five. And Bushy, uh, Bushy had five. Andrew had three, and Austin had two. Yep. Austin had a nice season in limited minutes, but uh, he, he's got a nice ball game to him. Right. Here come the three seniors. Lucas Gothier, a junior. These people uh, in two generations did something that the last two generations haven't done. Yeah! Oh, it's the last kid out. Clearly the most valuable player on this team. There it is, the championship trophy. <laughs> So Crystal Falls District, who's even in that? Uh, Crystal Falls, would you and Trout Crick be in that one? I don't know. They're there. Crystal Falls themselves came out of the girls district. So I mean, that's who played. And then they, they got beat. No, they won. I mean, they won, yeah. yeah they, they beat, beat Bark, River. Bark River at the buzzer or something, or by, by beat them by three, by, 50 to by 47. Three. And uh, St. Ignace girls won by one in overtime on Holt. What are they, what are they chanting? What a, what a ball game. And, uh, you know, the referees, as we mentioned, let them play a little bit, but they had to call fouls because of the defensive intensity for oh. each of these teams. It's like I said earlier, if you're a player that doesn't like to be touched, you wouldn't have liked playing in this ball game because everything was contested. Everything was being. Uh, I don't know. We got to find Kane's pressure. Sign. Oh, he's down here. I don't know if he's changed it or not. I don't know if you can zoom in on it. I don't know if he'll hold it up. But that uh, that 55-year-old drought, the river is running well right now. Mustangs with a good chance to pick up a victory in their in the regional now. I mean, don't right. count this team out. Oh, definitely not. They uh, play great basketball, and, uh, you know, them teams coming down from up there in that Crystal Falls district is not used to this. They're run and gun, run and gun, and Munising plays defense. So it's going to be an interesting style and see how the contrast of that style mixes. And, and know, as we mentioned, Munising plays a mid-peninsula conference-like schedule. Yeah, These other Class D teams, they don't play that tough schedule. No, they they're not playing at Nagani. They're not playing at Ishpeming, at Westwood. You know, they're, they're used to playing Class C, and now uh, they're going strictly against Class D. And uh, up there, they don't, they're don't. they pretty much playing all the D teams all around there. There's so many of them. I'm not even sure who's in their district. There's so many teams there. The um, Well, right now... My pick for tonight would be Owis and Webster for Munising. Yeah. Actually, you could go with the, the four seniors on the floor because we of the did way that they, again. We yeah. did that in their last game at home, and 
but uh, with yeah, the they contributions, just, you know, Andrew Kelto uh, really played a fantastic game here tonight. Joey Richardson was all over the floor. It was great defense for Joey here tonight, and the boarding was just you no. Know, he was four. He didn't score, but he had uh, four steals, four rebounds. But tonight, Ken Yoas led all scorers with 30. Uh, Bushy had had five points. Uh, steal, two rebounds. Back to Oas for a minute. He had three steals and nine rebounds. You had Andrew Kelto, three points, a steal, two rebounds. You had uh, Richardson, no points, but he had four rebounds, four steals, played hard defense all over the place. Uh, Gage Webster, 20 points, one steal, five rebounds. Austin Kelto, two points, a steal, three rebounds. For Superior Central, you had Kinnitz with seven points, two rebounds. Nicholas Mackey, five points, three rebounds. Uh, Cody Mackey.